separated from the world and devoted to the Lord. Good morning, and welcome to the manna to live by, one day, at a time. 5-Minute Devotionals Today is May 16th. Today's reading is from 1 John 2.15. Do not love the world, or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The world is presented in the New Testament, as a kingdom, that is opposed to God. Satan is its ruler, and all non-believers, are subjects. This kingdom, makes its appeal to man, through the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. It is a society, in which, man tries to make himself, happy without God, and in which, the name of Christ, is unwelcome. Dr. Gleason L. Archer Jr. says, that the world is the organized system of rebellion, self-seeking, and enmity toward God, which characterizes the human race, in opposition to God. The world, has its own amusements, politics, art, music, religion, thought patterns, and lifestyle. It seeks to force everyone, to conform, and hates those, who refuse. This explains, its hatred of the Lord Jesus. Christ died to deliver us from the world. Now, the world is crucified to us, and we to it. It is positive treason for believers, to love the world in any of its forms. In fact, the Apostle John says, that those who love the world, are the enemies of God. Believers are not of the world, but they are sent into it, to testify against it, to denounce its works as evil, and to preach salvation from it, through faith, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Christians are called to walk, in separation from the world. In the past, this may have been too narrowly limited to dancing, theaters, smoking, drinking, card playing, and gambling. But it includes much more. Much of what comes over the TV is worldly, appealing to the lust of the eyes, and the lust of the flesh. Pride is worldly, whether it be pride of titles, degrees, salary, heritage, or a big name. Luxurious living is worldly, whether palatial homes, gourmet foods, attention-getting clothing, and jewelry, or, prestige cars. So, is a life of ease and pleasure, spent largely on travel cruises, shopping sprees, sport, and recreation. Our ambitions for ourselves, and for our children may be worldly, even while we appear to be spiritual and pious. Finally, sex outside of marriage is a form of worldliness. The more devoted we are to the Savior, and the more sold out we are to Him, the less time we will have for worldly pleasures, and amusements. C. Stacy Wood said, The measure of our devotion to Christ, is the measure of our separation, from the world. J. G. Deck thus sang, We are but strangers here, we do not crave. A home on earth, which gave you but a grave. Your cross has severed ties, which bound us here. Yourself our treasure, in a brighter sphere. Let's pray. Father, thank you for reminding me that, since I am not of this world, my life here should be, one of separated from the world, and devoted to the Lord. Help me therefore, Lord, to be more devoted to you, and to doing your will, while I am in this world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. Separated from the world and devoted to the Lord. Today's devotional, originally written by, William MacDonald. Adapted and developed as manna to live by, 5-minute devotionals, for YouTube, by, John Benjamin. For previous day's devotionals, 
please click the channel link given in the description box below. Thank you, and to God be the glory.